In this video, I will show how you can use Nginx as a reverse proxy. I will install Nginx directly against an Ubuntu host machine. I will have Nginx use Let's Encrypt TLS certificate, and Nginx will forward and receive all traffic to and from another website made in a different technology. All the code will be available in this GitHub repository here, and the link to this GitHub repository can be found in the description of this video. Let me show you a preview of what it is that we are trying to achieve. On the left over here is a website served by an Apache web server. This website is hosted on a Linux machine in Dallas, United States. This website is not using TLS certificates. The index.html file is showing the default welcome message by Apache. I also made an apache.html file that just says hello from Apache. On the right over here is a Linux server with Nginx installed as a reverse proxy. This Nginx server is hosted on a Linux machine in Miami, United States, which is a different city from the Apache web server over here. The Nginx reverse proxy uses TLS certificates that was created by Let's Encrypt. The Nginx reverse proxy will forward and receive all requests to and from the ap.evermite.net website. So this is what we will try to create in this video. For some of you who use Docker, I have a video in my paid membership area that shows how you can set up Nginx reverse proxy as a containerized service. I will leave a link to the video in the description of this video. If you are interested, just click join and choose the miscellaneous videos tier. You can cancel your subscription at any time. And for those of you who want to use Nginx as a reverse proxy to an Elasticsearch cluster within a Docker environment, I have a video for that as well. Again, a link to the video will be in the description of this video. With all that said, let's get started. I currently have two Linux machines. They are in two different parts of the world. In fact, I've already updated my DNS records so that ap.evermite.net points to this machine, which is this machine, and ng.evermite.net points to this machine. Uh, they're both using Ubuntu 22.04, and they are brand new instances of Linux, so I should do an apt-get update and apt distribution uh, upgrade on these. And let's do that here as well. and apt distribution upgrade hyphen y. This is just to make sure that both machines have the latest repositories and updates. So I'm gonna pause until this is done. And when I get prompts like these, I just accept the defaults. And now it looks like everything is up to date. So we'll start with the Apache server first because all web traffic ultimately ends up here. So I'm gonna use this screen and I will do apt get install hyphen y apache2 and I'm also going to install vim which is my text editor but you can use any text editor you'd like so I'll pause until this is done all right it looks like apache is installed now so if I go to the var www directory and in here there is an html directory and apache should be up and running right away the moment you install it and it will be serving up this index.html file so if i go to my web browser i'm gonna try to load up this page all right so when i type in ap.evermite.net it looks like this index.html file is being served i'm going to create one more file let's go to this page i'm going to call it the apache.html and I will just say hello from Apache. And let's just load up this URL as well. All right, there we go. It says hello from Apache. And the reason I wanna do this is because next, we're gonna set up Nginx as a reverse proxy. And I wanna make sure that we can also access these other request URLs that happen after the host name. So this is all pretty much up and running and good to go. Let's go to Nginx and set up our reverse proxy. 
So I'm going to go to my Nginx server and I'm going to type apt get install hyphen y nginx and again I like to use vim as my text editor and I will pause until nginx is installed. Alright, it looks like nginx is installed. If I go to the var www directory, there's an HTML directory here and in here there's this index file. So if I go to my web browser, let me try to load up ng.evermite.net. And there you go, you can see that this domain opens up the default nginx hello page. So let's set up our reverse proxy. And to do that, we need to go to the CD ETC nginx sites available directory. And in here, I'm going to create a new file called ng.emmite.net. So this will be a virtual host configuration file. And I have something made already, so let me just copy from another window and paste into here. And I'll save. And what this file is doing is that it's going to, uh, it's telling Apache or it's telling Nginx to listen on port 80. And if the person is requesting this server from this domain name, which I actually have to change to just this. So if people are requesting this server from the domain ng.evermite.net, then forward all information to ap.evermite.net. And we're also going to include some settings, which are defined over here in the Nginx uh, proxy params. So you can see that this information will be set uh, as well uh, as part of the forwarding. All right, so that's pretty much all there is for setting up reverse proxy, or at least the configuration file that we need to create. To enable this file, it needs to be available in the site enabled directory. So if I look in sites enabled, you can see that there's no reference from the sites enabled directory to this file that we made in the sites available directory. What we can do is we can create a symbolic link. So let me just type this out first. All right, so this is the destination link, and we want a shortcut from the sites enabled ng.evermite.net to here. So let's do this, sites enabled, uh, ng.evermite.net. So we're creating this symbolic link or shortcut file to reference this file. And now if I look in the sites enabled directory, you can see that this file ng.evermite.net actually references ng.evermite.net in the sites available directory. And all I have to do now is restart nginx. And if I go back to my web browser and I hit refresh, refresh, there you go. You can see that ng.evermite.net is now acting as a reverse proxy over to ap.evermite.net. And we can even test that make sure this URL uh, is accessible from ng.evermite.net. So I typed ng.evermite.net slash apache.html and you can see it is serving the content from this URL over here. So that's pretty much all there is for setting up a reverse proxy with Nginx. What we should do next is apply TLS certificates or SSL certificates to ng.evermite.net so that traffic between ng.evermite.net and our web browser is encrypted, while the traffic between ap.evermite.net and ng.evermite.net, we will continue to leave that unencrypted. So this URL here will not have TLS certificates while this one does. So let's go over to our Nginx server. And to install uh, TLS certificates, we're gonna use Let's Encrypt and I already have a video showing how you can install uh, TLS certificates issued by Let's Encrypt on an Ubuntu server. I'm going to link to that video in the description of this video. For this video, I'll just quickly go through the motions. So first thing we're gonna need is app get install a snapd, but on some of the latest versions of Ubuntu, it seems like you can actually just install or let me take a step back. We need to install CertBot first before we can install Let's Encrypt Certificate. To install CertBot, we're basically doing 
uh, or using SnapD to install CertBot. But some versions of Ubuntu, you can just go app get install uh, CertBot and that would work. Okay, so I'll just play it safe and I will use SnapD. Oh, it looks like it's already here. And then I will do snap install CertBot classic. And now with CertBot installed, we can CertBot uh, and request a domain name for, or request certificates for ng.evermite.net. Oh, looks like it is not there yet. Oh, typing mistake. CertBot. Uh, let's see, type in an email address. Agree to the terms. I don't really need any other emails. And now we'll just wait. And looks like the TLS certificates have been installed. And you can see that they're installed to this location. And I believe they would have already updated our Nginx files. So if I go to sites available, and if I look in ng.evermite.net, you can see that CertBot added this entry over here. Or rather, it didn't add, it just modified our entry. It broke it up so that anytime someone goes to the port 80, the unencrypted uh, port, all information is automatically forwarded to the 443, which is the TLS encrypted port. And we will use these TLS certificates. And now, if I go to my web browser, I'll just go ahead and press refresh. Refresh. You can see that it automatically throws me over to the HTTPS version. Same with this one over here. Now this is encrypted. While this, our Apache server remains unencrypted. So that's how we can quickly set up a reverse proxy with Nginx using Let's Encrypt certificates. So that's pretty much it. If you found this video helpful, then give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for those of you who use Docker, check out any of these members' videos on how to set up an Nginx reverse proxy as a containerized service. So thanks again, and we'll see you in the next video.